empty Shut the water. Up your mouth. So it's easier for someone to throw it away. I should do what? Like throw the water away so it's easier. You so think it's not the same. Like that. No, you don't understand. The, the animals where they remain. No, but well, it's themselves. annoying, no, you know. You hey, cross. Oh, just get yeah, up and down. I'm trying to talk to you. Well, what is fucking irritating me this morning? Can you shift? My point exactly. Where my basket is, there's an Alex bag there. That's what I'm saying. Place the one place out of the six that I have. She still puts her things there and she's making an issue out of it. Stop, stop. Are you going to have one space here? Or? I told you guys this house should have been called Fuji House of Commotion and not BB Niger All Stars because every single day there is someone saying something about the other person, there is someone ready to fight the other person, like there is someone prepping for basketballs. Kilo Shelley. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zini, and I am back again like I never left. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Please smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you're here for the very first time. So Sissy and Cross had a lead to just a mild you know altercation exchange of words today so sissy was cleaning the dining table of course you guys know that's her area of the house to clean she and Perry. so she was cleaning the dining table after the hoh meeting this morning then cross saw her trashing bottles and drinks without pouring out the content meaning some of the housemates drank um some you know minerals like pepsi whatever and water as well but they didn't finish it she was trashing the bottles without pouring out the contents that's the remaining content and he told her that it would have been better for her to like pour out the content instead of trashing it the way it was then cc in response to cross suggestion told him that it would be stressful for her to do that and that if he wanted to do it he should go ahead cross wasn't having it at all cross was like i don't understand that's his suggestion you're all about self-care you're all about hygiene i'm just telling you it would be better for you to pour out the content before trashing the bottles since he was not having it to see told him to shut up and since he told him that you should keep on talking now and that he was going to collect and cross was like eh, if you want to give me i will collect give me she also pointed to him a dirty place that was in the kitchen sink and she was like person chop on i leave him nami you they talk to and all of that and cross was like i know i know it's horrible i hate the fact that they do that and that he wasn't coming you know for cc and all of that cc was like you were actually coming for me you were he was telling me i don't want to have this nonsense conversation this and that i'm like Gilo Shele. to be honest with you guys i feel like cross has distanced himself a lot from cc i remember the time she refused to clean the dining area and you know cross was actually one of the people that took it upon himself to really you know tackle cc for not coming out to clean you know that kind of stuff so yeah i feel like he's really really been distancing himself from her and even during the uh, nomination, I realized that he actually nominated CC for eviction, right? I feel like it's the energy CC has been giving Cross. That's why he's been acting the way he's been acting. Because from my own perspective, right? I feel like it's not Cross's business how she decides to clean her environment that she's been assigned to. As long as she is cleaning it, it's not your business. You're not the one who's going to trash the garbage eventually so why are you bothered it's not as if she opened the bottles and he had content inside and she just trashed them they were all covered so what's your stress i did not get the concept behind him telling her how to do it i mean you have your own particular um part of the house to clean why don't you go do your chores and just leave her let her be I, it didn't make any sense to me sha but let's proceed to the next gist so you guys know mashallah emerged the head of house for this week and he chose sissy and ile bai as you know his bffs amongst mercy and wipe money as well and you know sissy and ile bayo were able to squash their little beef and it was because of ike now if you guys do not remember i'm here to remind you um there was a time ike and sissy were trying to sleep and ile bayo wanted to get ike's attention because she wanted to tell him something right and sissy backed at the both of them and told the both of them to exit the room to have their conversation and that was because she was trying to sleep right so yeah ike wasn't having it and they had a little back and forth and she eventually ended up begging ike and he came back to the room there was also a time during the saturday party ike was dancing with um ile Bayo, or ile Bayo rather was dancing with ike right and ile Bayo actually told ike that the reason she was doing that was to get cross jealous and sissy said according to her she was having a conversation with i think doing and perry and she said she actually felt like um ile Bayo did that to get sissy's reaction 
so you know Sissy was you know having a conversation with Ile Baye at the HOH lounge and she was telling her that she does things intentionally to trigger people and get a reaction she gave her several instances where she wanted to get she wanted she was asking her for something and she told her to go upstairs to get it and all of that and she was so annoyed like you have this thing so why don't you just give it to me why are you telling me to go upstairs to go and get it from someone else same thing with the wipe money issue and guess what guys Ile Baye actually agreed that yes white money was not entirely you know guilty you know she um when white money told her to switch it or reduce the volume rather you know she still insisted on increasing these after he told her like three times that yes that automatically would trigger anybody even if it's the most calmest person on earth so in my head i was like girl you knew you were at fault at some point i mean I, i'm not gonna say white money wasn't at fault he was at fault for turning it off i mean she's a fellow housemate you don't you don't do that to a fellow housemate right but you know you understood the fact that you were at fault so why were you crying like why were you crying why exactly were you crying so sissy wasn't even having it at all sissy was telling her that you are you are guilty you do things to trigger people to get a reaction from them you are not innocent at all they just had a little back and forth but it wasn't like they didn't blow things out of proportion so yeah that's that about sissy and ilebae's conversation at the hoh lounge let's talk about adekule and alex oh my gosh you see these two people i don't even understand if Adekule can forgive Angel and be cool with uh, you know her and even recruit her as his backup singer to get Venita's forgiveness, I don't understand why he cannot forgive a um, Alex for saying whatever it is she said during their altercation with Venita during the Pepsi tax, right? They had an altercation, so apparently they were fighting because of a wardrobe. Can you imagine? Um, Adekule was of the opinion that Alex was always putting her things in his own locker, in his own, you know, closets. And it was like, I don't understand. You've covered all these places already. You've occupied them with your items, with your properties. And you still find a way to insert your things in my closet. Kilo Shelly, what's the problem? Alex was saying it's a lie that she has her properties are not in his. Perry eventually brought out some of her things, and you know, she was like, Those are not my items. Did you see my name there? This and that. It was just a lot, Sha. And you know, Adequity was like, If you want problem, I'll give you problem. Now, Alex said, Now, why are you sabi? And Adekule was like, now nah, you sabi with your head like we say, I don't know. I say Adekule, when you start with the fights with man up and down. That's that about that. Let's talk about doing. Oh my gosh, guys. If you guys do not know, doing an angel prior to the nomination right we're always strategizing and analyzing who to nominate for eviction hey hey in shock doing as after the um nomination and she was you know um called upon as one of the nominated housemates for eviction she lost it she totally lost it when angel revealed to her that she actually put her up for eviction she was having a conversation with wife money and she broke down guys doing cry she was like i don't understand that is betrayal at its peak you and i have been strategizing we've been scrutinizing we've been analyzing who to nominate and who not to nominate and then you go behind my back to nominate me like bro why she's like eh that she has realized that you know she can never have genuine friends in this house and that although she always put her her friends first nobody she regards to as a friend would ever put her first you know she was also down white money came to her white money hugged her pay her you know tried to you know make she cheer her up and all of that on my head i was like girl you need to comprehend the concept of this game you need to realize the fact that this is a game you have no friend you literally have no friend she was giving instances of how she was soliciting for votes for angel to win the pardon me and all of that unfortunately she nobody won it was a job between angel and cross but she really went out for you know angel and she would do that to her and she even said that her friends did not even do that i think she was referring to mercy and co but anyways that's that about that doing needs to understand the fact that this is a game this is not a reunion or nothing of that sort at all even reunion yourself people they chop left try center up and down talk more of the show itself honey you need to buckle up so yeah let's talk about pere cross and kim's triangle okay so if you guys do not know cross has a crush on kim opera and Perry also likes Kim Opera some sort of way, some sort of way. Now, currently, Perry and Cross are not really on talking terms, and the reason is because of Kim Opera, right? So yeah, Kim Opera had a conversation with Perry, and Perry was like, "I've seen how Cross is um around you. I don't want to come in between you guys." And you know, Kim Opera was also saying that yes, I've seen how you were around Lucy when she came, knowing fully well that we walked into this house together, this and that. Anyways, Perry was telling Sissy and doing that he has realized that Cross has been distancing himself from him and it was because he felt like um 
Perry has a thing with Kim Oprah and then he has a crush with on her, right? And Perry was telling them that he has even, you know, he has actually, you know, removed Kim Oprah from his mind. You know, it's like a no-go area considering the fact that his friend likes her. So he doesn't even understand why Cruz has been giving him some sort of attitude. I'm like, eh? Kim Oprah actually walked into them having that conversation. And Donny did not even care. Donny was like, please continue the conversation. Oh my gosh. Anyways, perhaps when um Kim Opera came, Donny was like, um, Kim, Kim is just looking for attention here and there. I'm like, ah, ah, Kilo Shele. When did it get to this stage of you thinking Kim just wants attention? I mean, these are two friends who have interest in her. It's not her fault. Like, Kilo Shele, what's going on here? I Ani, mean, what's going on? Anyways, guys, share your thoughts with me in the comment section. About all of this, just I just filled you in, guys. Starting from the beginning to the end. Okay, if you've come this far, thank you so much for watching and listening. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on your post notification to be alerted ASAP when I post a new video. You know the vibes. See you guys my next video with on dilated gist bye